Welcome to Workday HCM Create a Pre-Hire. In this session, we'll cover how to create a pre-hire as the first step of the hiring process, track pre-hires, and prepare a pre-hire for hiring. To begin the hire process, a pre-hire must first exist in Workday. At the initiation of an offer or background check, a candidate's status changes from active candidate to pre-hire, which is a possible future employee in the recruiting process. Only after you hire an applicant do they become an employee. The process of tracking a pre-hire begins with entering the pre-hire into the system. A pre-hire record includes basic information, such as name, sourcing information, address, contact, and nationality. Once you create a pre-hire in Workday, you can track their status as they move through the evaluation process, including any screenings and interview recommendations. It's important to note the pre-hire status applies to the position rather than the individual candidate. When creating a pre-hire, each prospect's record must include at least one piece of contact information, such as a phone number, email, or address. Meet Carmen Cortez, a senior recruiter tasked with creating a pre-hire record for an active candidate as they move through the evaluation process. To accomplish this, Carmen will use the Create Pre-Hire task and enter the pre-hire information. In this example, Jennifer demonstrates how to create a pre-hire record. The first step in pre-hire tracking is to enter the pre-hire's information using the Create Pre-Hire task. The first field is the source of the pre-hire, which is optional, but populating it can be helpful for reporting purposes. The red asterisks indicate required fields. When we enter the pre-hire's name and contact information, the format reflects the country your company is selected as the default. So if an HR partner in London is entering a pre-hire's information, the country can be changed to guarantee the correct name and address formatting is used. I'll enter the pre-hire's first and last name. After populating the name fields, I'll select the Contact Information tab. For new pre-hires, we must enter at least one form of contact information before we can save them into the system. I'll add a phone number. I'll enter mobile as the phone device type, then indicate whether the number is a home or work number. I can specify who can see the number. If I select public, the number is available for all workers to view. Once the data is entered, I'll select OK to save. To easily identify and review pre-screened pre-hires, you can create pre-hire pools for organizations, locations, job families, or job profiles. Once you identify a pre-hire, you can track any candidate throughout the evaluation process, including reviewing pre-hires data, assigning interviewers, which provides visibility to the pre-hires information, documenting the interview process, including feedback and results, and hiring a pre-hire into Workday as an employee or contingent worker. Data privacy and pre-hire information security standards are different for each organization. To address this situation, Workday provides deletion processes that you can configure to meet your business requirements. In this session, we've discussed pre-hires, how to create a pre-hire record, and tracking pre-hires during the evaluation process. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday.